All right, so this assembly consists of two posts, A, D, and C, F, made up of A36 steel. In the back of the book, um, the E is 200 GPA. So A, D, and C, F are made up of steel that's 200 GPA. They tell us the cross section, but then post B, E is a different material that has modulus of elasticity 73.1 GPA, and it's a different cross section. The central load of 400 newtons is applied to the rigid cap, determine the normal stress in each post, uh, and there's a small gap between post B, E, and member A, B, C. All right. So let's look at this uh, cap and let's try to kind of figure out if we have 400 kilonewtons right there, how much of that 400 is taken by uh, beam BE? How much of that is taken by CF? How much of that is taken by AD? All right, let's start with statics. It, doesn't it seem like mo a lot of these equations, we're starting with statics. In this class, it's still in static equilibrium. And so how about summing the forces in Y? FAD plus FBE plus FCF minus 400 equals zero or just equals 400. That's 400 kilonewtons. Hmm. Might go ahead and change that to uh, 400,000 newtons because I, you know, I think I'm going to, because uh, I'm going to use equations later on where I'm, my forces are going to be in newtons. Now, I also have some of the moments. Do you see that summing the moments about B, and some of the moments about the middle right here, uh, FAD times, sorry, FAD times 0.5, negative FCF times 0.5 positive equals zero. Uh, do you see that the moments really just tells me that what I probably kind of thought and already knew that F, CF and AD have the same force. I'm just gonna call it F. So I've kind of eliminated one unknown and I might even go back to this equation and just call that one unknown. Um, but that still won't let me solve for everything. So I still need a compatibility equation. What's my compatibility equation gonna be? This is a rigid cap. So the L of A, D, and C, F is equal point 0.1. Yeah. Well, they're gonna compress point 0.1, but let's say they, it compresses even more than 0.1. All right, I think we can assume, I think that this compresses and it, 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 it compresses BE as well, but you're on the right track. I mean, let's think about that. The delta L of section AD and CF, either one of those is going to equal the delta L of BE let me think about whether I want to put plus that gap or minus that gap. But you see that they're going to be off by a gap. You know, they're going to be off by a gap. Okay, so here's where I might go back on my rules that I said. Uh, generally, I say compression is negative and a, you know, a contraction is negative. Um, but I think we all know it's compressing. I drew it in compression, right? This force is pushing. It's not in tension. So I drew all those in compression, but, but I think it makes sense that AD is going to compress more than BE. That's really what I'm saying. AD is going to compress more than BE. I could be thinking about CF is going to compress 
more. How much more is it going to compress 0.3? And, and double check and make sure that makes sense. This isn't going to happen, but what if this is 0.4? What if BCE compresses 0.4? Then, yeah, AD would have compressed 0.5. So here's my compatibility equation, except that I know everything's in compression. Everything is in compression. Okay, so let me plug in. What is the compression force inside AD? Uh, it's FAD, which is just F. All right, its length is 0.4 meters. I prefer millimeters. And in fact, that is in millimeters. So I've got to be in millimeters. Um, so this would be 400. All right, I'm doing FL over EA, right? FL over E. So what is the E for that section? 20,000 MPA. What is the A for that section? It told us in the problem statement, uh, uh, 1,000 millimeters squared. So that's FL over EA of that section. Yes. No. Two, yeah, so 200,000. Yeah, that's what I wrote. I just said it the wrong. All right, FL over EA of that section. Now the FL over EA, this would be the force inside section BE. The length of that, let me be very, very precise though. It, CF and AD were 400 millimeters. Uh, BE was not quite that tall, 399.9 millimeters. All right. Divided by, it's a 73,100 uh, 73, MPA and 1,500 millimeters squared. And now... This equation right here and that equation right here, those two equations right there have two unknowns and I can solve for them. Up, 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 da, da, da. Plus, man, very important, very important. Plus 0.1. Plus 0.1. So those equations, two equations with two unknowns so I can solve. So, so maybe I, I would take this one, I would write, F is equal to 1.8285 FBE plus 50,000. So I just took that equation, I rewrote it in terms of F, and then I plugged that in for 2F, and I solved for FBE. FBE is 64,560 newtons. F which is FAD and FCF would be 167,700 newtons. Okay, let me pause right there and just make sure we could get that and understand where that came from. What if one of those answers came out negative? Especially that BE. What if one of those answers came out negative? Then, then that would have mean I, I guess wrong. That would have mean my force inside was I drew it the wrong direction. But is there any other direction that FBE could have been? Can can BE actually pull that rigid cap down? No. Uh, if I came up with a negative answer for either of those. And I went back and looked, and I would say that's impossible. So maybe that's a case where I didn't press it down hard enough. It actually doesn't touch FBE. All right? Okay, but, both, but all my answers came out positive, so that means, yes, it does compress it large enough that it pushes BE down, uh, making BE in compression. All right. Is that what the question actually asked for? Did it say determine the force inside aluminum post BE and the force inside um, 
No, it said determine the normal stress. But that's not too bad. We just have an extra step and don't forget it and don't miss out. It's not asking for the force inside those members. It's asking for the stress inside each of those members. So the try to squeeze this on this page, the stress inside AD. 167, 700 over 1,000. So 167.7 or 168.7 MPA, which is also the stress inside section CF because both of those have the same force, same area. And the stress inside the brass, uh, I mean, whatever BE was, 64. 560 over 1500 it had a different area 43 mpa maybe it's 43.0 i like at least three significant figures okay all right so we did statics some of the forces in y some of the moments equal zero that wasn't enough uh so we needed compatibility as to what is delta l doing what's happening to delta l well, AB is compressing a lot more, or not a lot more, but more than BE due to that gap, due to that gap. 